Okay, so sparkling water with characteristics that are not unlike those found in beer. That's how Elysian Brewing describes its new hop water. We wanted to try it, so this morning we're going to do just that. Joining us in studio, Elysian's brewmaster, Chris Murakami. Chris, great to have you here. Thank you very Congratulations much. on your new concoctions. Appreciate it, we have, yes. we have a few here, and we, we just got to start by asking, what is hop water and, and how does it compare to other sparkling waters on the market? You know, it's not unlike a lot of other sparkling waters, but the different, main difference being it is flavored with actual hops. So no sugar, no calories, no alcohol. Um, but it's something that, you know, that a, a beer lover can enjoy, an IPA yeah. lover can enjoy, uh, but also even not a beer fan because um, the hops bring a lot of really nice floral citrus notes to the water. Um, so it's a, just a great alternative to to a beer when you're. The other thing I'm noticing here, Chris, it says no gluten on there as well. No which, gluten. That is a huge thing for people who have had to go in the cider route. Absolutely. Because beer, unfortunately, has the gluten factor. It's kind right. of like bread in a can. Right. But right. in this case, I'm sorry to derail you here. No, but no, no. In, no, it's in great. the meantime, I mean, <laughs> it's but, what you do. Adam. Yeah. That's why we bring you in. <laughs> Master <derail. laughs> we're gonna, and We're going to try some while you're talking. about Yes, absolutely, no gluten. Um, and that's something that even and uh, non-alcoholic beers, you know, they're still going to have gluten a lot of times right. unless you're specifically going for that. So I'm just doing a small pour for you guys here. But um, okay. there you go. Um, it's good. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, it's good. You know, it does have it does have characteristics not unlike beer. I think that's that's a really good way to put it. Yeah, wow. but light, refreshing. Look, um, wow, watch out! This oh, is, there yeah. you go. And, yeah. well, and, and for folks that are doing like a, a dry January, a dry April, for example, I mean, it. this would this would be a great option for you right here. Yeah, and we want this, you know, it should be positioned in water aisles, really not trying to compete directly head-to-head -head with beer, but it's supposed to be a refreshing option um, and an appeal to beer lovers, too. So Yeah, and so where would we find it? So this is now available Washington, Oregon, West Coast, but um, uh, in kind of select stores. Also can go on the website and look for what retailers are, are carrying it right now. So, nice. Okay, yeah. you also have some other concoctions for us. Yes, yeah. so let's get into uh, Hazy 96. This is our newest Hazy IPA, 6.1%. Um, uh, this beer actually started at one of our pubs, just was really popular last year, kind of blew up, and we decided we're going to go big with it. So this is our, um, it's, a, it's a regional play as well, you know, so it should be able to on the West Coast. But um, yeah, really nice um, hot profile to it. Definitely a lot more kind of tropical profile. Um, lots tropical of pineapple, profile. mango, you, guava. You, you tend to get the sweeter, so. sort of most sometimes citrusy flavors out of that. That's Jesus. right. That's right. Which so here, let's. Now, I got to I got to empty yeah. my glass. Okay, okay, here's, historically here's speaking, too. IPAs and I don't necessarily agree, but the hazy IPA actually puts things from Is me that? back into a category where I go. Oh, yeah, this works for me because it, it moves us, and I'm, I usually tend to move more towards like the Hefeweizens, and this gets uh -huh. us a lot closer to that. Hmm. So, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to, is so that wait, okay? Wait, what's pour, the, what's the difference then between like a Hefeweizen as opposed uh, to an IPA? Uh, you know, Hefs are, are wheat beers, so typically at least half wheat, half barley is kind of typical. Um, a hazy IPA, even though it kind of looks, has that Hef characteristic look, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't necessarily have to have wheat. In fact, uh, this one has a little bit, but not, not anywhere close yeah. to Hefeweizen. And Hefeweizens are usually a lot less hoppy, um, mm -hmm. where obviously this is going to be a lot more hop forward. But the hazies are supposed to be generally low bitterness, a little bit more mouthfeel to them, um, but just really should be popping with with hop and it, it is yes. right it yeah. is yeah, yeah. hop but, forward but, Very it's, hop but forward. it's not like a punch to the nose hop forward this is this is like an enjoyable amount of hop at least to my taste buds well, that's the goal yeah, yeah. and so. this can is classic <laughs> the Elysian dank dust this yes. is, and this is a new offering as well right this is actually our second year um, we're doing it it's our spring seasonal um, last year and we're doing it again this year and it will also be um, available year-round in a, our new IPA variety pack this year too so so let's crack one of these too. I think uh, that's a great think. idea. Yeah. <laughs> we leave it to the professionals that's for the right. opening. Now this one, uh, let's, let's see your, your reaction on this. This is, um, it's basically our, our normal space dust recipe, but we add terpenes to it. That gives it a real kind of herbal dank kick to it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you might be what, able to what, start. What are, what are terpenes? Okay. Terpenes are, um, they're naturally derived uh, plant compounds, um, and you can really get them from a variety of plant sources, say basil or mint, but you can oh. kind of recombine them to to whatever kind of flavor profile you're looking for. What, what am I what am I picking up there on yeah, the what is, after what is this? There's there's something that is much stronger than what we were seeing with the, the yes. Here. This is really kind of the definition of that dank, you know, um, herbal, herbaceous. You know, a lot of hops already have this, but we kind of just amplified it up. 
um, with our kind of normal space dust profile. So we're looking for a lot of kind of pine, grapefruit, you know, herbal herbal notes, if if you know what I'm saying. So Chris Murakami, you are not only you're a walking thesaurus, my man. I love I love the adjectives you use to describe the stuff. It's great. I mean, that that's got to come with just years of experience, right? Yeah, yeah. We made a lot of different beers over the years. Um, you know, we're always trying new things, always making new beers. So we're always, you know, messing with flavor profiles, the looks of beers. Obviously, I mean, you can tell how different these two beers look Absolutely. from each other. So, yeah, it just comes with time. You've got to love your work. I do. Great yeah. job, man. Okay, uh, Adam, you got to go yeah, back to I gotta, work I gotta go here. Back. You're doing work double here, duty so with exactly, it, yeah, weather me, and traffic. Let me shuffle from one room to the other here. So, yeah, 